Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to explain the offset filter. So, what's offset? I'll show you in a second. Okay, then I've got this lovely picture and I've got a sky. And I'm going into filter, other and offset. Okay then, so basically the offset will offset the image slightly to one side or to the other. So, I'm going to offset it like so. And as you, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it properly, I'm going to click OK. And now in here we have th this line in here. And it's quite symmetric as well. So what we can do is, now, we can grab the clone stamp. Oh, and actually I've got it as a smart object, which we can't use a clone stamp with, unless you're using another layer, which you can. But for this is fine as it is. So I'm just going to click ALT and sample slightly so it's not asymmetric and uh, yeah it's not bad and there you go and uh, why would you do that if you had already the clouds? Well, very simple. I've got this photo like so. And uh, if you create this existing, if you create a pattern, define pattern. Oh, hang on a second, I need to select first. If you select this as a pattern, like so, edit define pattern I'll click OK now I'll deselect and uh, let's say I'm going to get a new layer on top I'm going to fill it with 50% um, grey I'll click OK and now I'm going to effects and I'm going to add a pattern overlay in which I'm going to select the pattern I've just created so there you go, let me just make it slightly bigger like this and I'll click OK. Well, you can't see much, can you? But now, this is the fun part, you go into Window and Animation. I'm just going to bring it down slightly and we know the layer 1 is one where we have the pattern. So, uh, we're going to layer 1 and we add a keyframe into style and now we go and we move it double click on the layer style back to pattern overlay and if you hold the shift key you can move it like so and as you can see it looks very cool doesn't it and this is the best bit if you go back press spacebar and you have sky moving well it's a bit dodgy because it's rendering but as you can see uh, thanks to offset I could do this animation very simply and bye for now